Uh, this is just a short instructional video on how to uh, install a Kickstarter mechanism in a H series motor. Uh, this is an H2 750, H1 500 is basically the same. Uh, S series, I'm not sure I haven't done it in a while, but I think it's also uh, pretty much the same. Now, this is the biggest problem most guys have when assembling uh, these motors because the uh, most manuals aren't uh, exactly clear on how to do it. And if you do it improperly, then uh, the motor has to come back out or come back apart to uh, do it properly. So this is how it's done. First of all, uh, when I took this motor apart, I found the Kickstarter spring that looks just <laughs> that looked like this. Now it's totally sprung, and that comes from installing the Kickstarter uh, improperly. They ended up overwinding the spring and tweaking it, basically. Now. Uh, some guys will try to straighten this out. I don't do that because these are rather brittle and have been known to crack and break in half and uh, then you still have to split the motor to put a, a replacement spring in. Uh, as you can see here hopefully uh, you see how this has been in. Uh, that's from this part being put in reverse so whenever you're kicking on it this spring can actually slip in and bend so it's also important to have this part installed correctly another problem is this spring if you a lot of guys like to disassemble these if they're dirty or whatever to clean them uh, they can go in two different directions um, one is right obviously and one is wrong this will also fit in the hole in the opposite direction the mechanism will not work properly in this configuration so make sure you either mark the shaft or replace the spring uh, right after you take the old spring off so you get in the proper location again you just slip this in and you're ready to rock now the biggest problem is this tang and this trough most guys uh, miss that part if it, this tang does not is not fitted in that trough then your kickstarter will not work properly so what happens is usually when they pull the motor apart they don't uh, take the spring tension off of this kickstarter by backing off this bolt it's not a big deal uh, I usually don't do it but what happens is this tang just slides around on this gear and they'll be out of place so when they go to uh, pop this back in the tang will be in the wrong place or look like it'll be in the trough and it won't be so it's real simple to do you just want this spring tang here fits in between the cases this long tang just fits right in that little trough right down here so you just want to move this tang around on the gear until this slips down gears in the trough and the tang is there now the other big mistake guys make is you'll see a hole in this bushing there will be a pin that it corresponds to now this has to be set properly so you get the tang in the trough, the tang here. Then you just move this bushing around until it falls right in the hole. And that's a properly installed kickstarter mechanism. To double check you can see it's hard from this angle but This is what the Kickstarter bolt uh, for setting the spring tension goes against. Now that's going to be approximately 180 degrees away from the bolt. So this lip right here should be right around this section when the Kickstarter assembly is uh, assembled. So that will tell you the spring is in the correct place. So bushings in, tangs in and other tanks trapped between the case. Uh, this is approximately 180 and so everything's assembled correctly. One other thing which is a big problem that, that uh, causes a lot of damage you also have pins for the transmission to fit the transmission bushings in, the outer housings in, they've got corresponding holes. If these are put in without the holes corresponding to the pins they will push the pins down flush the shafts can move and 
if they can move, it'll pop out of gear sometimes. Uh, and also, most likely, a lot of the times, you'll break the shift drum because of the lateral force because the pins aren't holding everything tight. So that's another big problem. So make sure when you lay the transmissions in, the pins in the bearings are all lined up with these holes. This pin's also lined up. Uh, spring tangs here, the other tangs in your groove here. This locker is about 180 across from the bolt. Uh, this is how the factory does it. A couple other, some guys like to um, uh, preload the spring tension. Uh, it makes it difficult. You can mess up the uh, sealing surface or mess up this, the sealant here. It's, and it's just more difficult. I'd rather uh, just concentrate on putting the cases together, getting them bolted together, and then I'll show how to set the spring tension after everything's bolted together. And uh, that's about it. Um, and for you Canadian guys, you'll see there's no beer around. And uh, sorry about that, but uh, I don't think that's part of the assembly program. So uh, that's basically uh, what it is. And um, there you go, guys. Hope this helps.